What's going on guys? Yes, I am in a truck and uh, you guys did not expect this, did you, for this video? But this is the beginning of the video guys. We're actually on our way to a um, place that melts down gold basically. Um, they, they pay out 95%. So when you take gold to, uh, when you take gold to um, pawn shops, they pay 70 to 75%. This place will pay 95% and they're really trusted people. Um, so it's downtown Portland, so it's worth the drive. So the reason I wanted to do this video though is to show you how much we made out of that unit. So we're gonna take this over there, see how much they're willing to give us for the gold. I just wanna be 100% transparent and uh, show you guys the before and the after. And we have Cade. Cade, honey. Say hi. Say hi. And we have Axel over there and wifey is driving. So, all right guys. I don't know, I can't guarantee they can let me film in there, probably not, but at least they'll probably give me receipts and I'll show you guys what we made. And uh, this is all from that unit, guys. So, all from that unit, no extra gold from any other units. So, keep track and I'll see you on the flip what side. What up, guys? I am back. Back from uh, getting the gold taken care of. So let me kind of show you what I did. <clears throat> and I think you guys will be proud. We did really good. So, you guys know that, um, I was on my way to take in some of the gold and silver. Um, <clears throat> it's nice to get my initial investment out of the unit. Um, I got, I paid $690 for the unit and we made out really good with the, just the gold. And that's the only thing I've sold. I have not put any of this stuff online, just the gold. So check it out. <clears throat> so I did not sell my silver. 100% of the silver I kept because guys, it just was not, it was, this is all silver, but it just wasn't worth it for me. Um, I'll, I'll sell it on eBay and make way more money. So I didn't sell any of the silver. <clears throat> now, these rings I did not sell. Yes, I could have made probably an extra $200, um, but I did not want to sell these rings because they're worth more money if you sell them on eBay. Um, this one here, is actually 18 karat gold, which um, 18 karat, you know, breaks and bends and scratches more than 14 and 10 karat. Um, it's just a beautiful ring. So I'm gonna sell this online. Um, and I do know a jeweler that will give me a, a letter of authenticity before I sell it, so I won't have any problems. I'm also gonna sell this bad boy. It's just kind of a unique older piece. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna sell that. And then I'm also going to hold off on this, guys. This is a beautiful ring. Very old. It's 14K. And I didn't want to melt this one down. Now, I also have all these too, guys. Now, some of these I'm going to give to my grandma. This is actually gold. All this is gold. This is gold plated. The rest are gold. I just like these pieces and I'm going to keep them. Give one piece to grandma. And then I'll probably sell the rest on eBay. Now, let me show you the actual receipt. Now this is the, um, let me do, move this so I don't show anything really, okay. So as you can see, AA Precious Metals, they, they will do all that. Um, I made a, um, I made $1,006.10 guys. And this is literally today, January 31st, 2019. Uh, $1,000, I've already paid for the unit and made $400. And I still have all this. And the cool thing too is um, when you take a lot of gold in, um, if you don't take it into pawn shops, if you take it in somewhere where they will melt it down, they don't care about the jewels. They'll pop them out for you. So you see this, they popped out this jewel and this jewel. So I can still keep the jewels. They pop them out and uh, they just care about the gold. So not only do I get to keep the jewels, I'll sell these on eBay, I'll sell these on eBay, give that piece to grandma and sell the rest on eBay. So I still have a ton of jewelry and I made a thousand dollars and six, sorry, $1,006.10. So paid for the unit and I haven't even listed one item in this whole unit. So anyways, I like to be 100% transparent. I do not like to, uh, I just like to be me. Like either I, if I win or lose, you guys are gonna know. So anyways, made out really well I feel like. Um, and we're going to go ahead and open all these boxes here. Now these are all breakables and I did not go through any of them in the storage units. I did not have time. Remember guys, it was getting towards the end. 
So all these are wrapped up. I've never went through them except that item is showing, but see? So we're gonna go through all these on this video here and I'll show you exactly what we have in here. This is the same thing. I need to remove that out there before I open it. And this has also never been seen. So I don't even know what's in here. It just says knickknacks. So I'm assuming, <sighs> I'm assuming more, more, um, more uh, music boxes, but we'll see. All right, guys. That being said, let me get this jewelry put away and let's get into the video. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. All right. Let's get into this. A lot of empty, but I, I still use them, guys. There's not much in this box. Let's see. Okay, here we go. The first item. Like I said, not much in this box. Look at this. There's probably a lot of cooking down in this bad boy. It's the back of it. Just kind of a, and then I think here, nope, that didn't work. Here, nope, that didn't work. Here, nope, that didn't work. Let me see if I can put it lower for you. Okay, there we go. Um, okay, so. Look at this piece. That's a beautiful piece, guys. So pretty cool. Oh, it's dirty. But I bet this is like a uh, salsa, or sorry, a uh, like a stew or something like that. And then look at this one. This is beautiful. Man, what does that say? Oh man, it's just wore out. I don't know what that says on there. Anyway, got the rivet. It's kind of a nice dish. Nope. Yes, success. Okay. So literally guys, that's the quickest box ever. That box is done. Let's continue over here, shall we? All right. Let me move these over here. Okay, let's take into this. So here is a ashtray. Um, it's got cracks, you can kind of see that up front, but really cool ashtray. Wow, this is, thing's full. I haven't even went through this thing yet. Look at this. Okay. I think my grandma has some of these exact ones. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty pretty sure. Um, it, it's just a set of these. And uh, I think grandma, my grandma has the exact same ones. Oh, they're from France. A-R-C-O-R-O-C, -O -O -C, France. Right there. They're from France. Wow, these may be worth some money, guys. There's a set of them. Let's see if we got another set. What is this? Holy moly. What is this thing? Wow, oh, that is awesome. I wonder if these are actual pearls, though. Man, they, they feel and look real. Wow, look at this. It's actually pretty big. Um... It's got pearls wrapped around the whole thing. I know you can grind the pearls on your, or put the pearls on your teeth and if they're grainy, then they're real. Let me try. Mmm, they're pretty grainy. I don't know if that works anyways. But look at this thing. That is really cool, guys. It's pretty tall. I would say that's like uh, nine inches. Wow, what the heck is this? Oh wow, this still has salt. But look at this thing. Wow, these gotta be worth some good money. Look at this, holy moly. But look at the bottom, that's corkscrews. 
Now this one's got a little bit of damage right down. Oh man, you gotta be really careful actually. It's flaking right now. It's got a little bit of damage right here. So I gotta be really careful. But these things are cool. Look how the P and the S. Wow. Oh, okay. All right. Man, you can tell this has never been opened in a while. Because this stuff is just dirty and. Okay. So that's the bottom of both of them. But look at this thing. That is such a cool piece. It's got a little uh, leaf down there. Whew, excuse me. Pretty cool though, huh? So there's that. I'm gonna put that over here because that's tiny. Wow. What the heck? <laughs> wow. Man. Okay. This one is made uh, exclusively Japan. So there you go. Look at her. Oh my gosh. That is so cool. And she's a salt pepper shaker. One of the two. So, let me see if I can find her. her. Oh, boom, quick. Quick status. I found, look who I found. I know. Uh oh, the kid's coming down, guys. The kids, the kids down here. The kiddo's down here. Look at that though, isn't that cool, guys? Wow, somebody's gonna love that. They did love, they collected salt and pepper shakers. Okay, I can't believe we're still doing this unit and we're not even done, wow. What the heck? Look at this thing. Look, focus, focus. So it's got a little hole right there. But look at this bowl. Wow. And he's got a little... I don't see any markings on there. So guys, I don't know. I don't know what, you know, brand or what company this is, but it's pretty cool. And I know a lot of people collect this stuff, so. All right. Look at this. Look at the dirt. You guys see that? Crazy. They've been in here a very long time. In fact, uh, let's see what the newspaper says. 1980. So this is before I was born. Here's this dish. And come on, focus. There we go. And look at this thing. So this is probably what they put spoons on, I think, right? They put it on your... Um, you put it on your uh, stove and you put spoons on this thing. So that's the brand right there, guys. So we'll see if it's worth some good money. Okay. It's got a little chip on this one. But um, see the chip right there? No brand that I see. Oh wait, it does say something. Nope. <sighs> <sighs> I might have to get me some coffee. Dude. Okay, what is this? Here's another leaf. This probably obviously probably goes somewhat together, maybe. So if you guys know what this is, let me know. It's kind of small. All right. 
Wow, this says Rogers Silver Plated, Silver Plate Italy. This thing is, what is, this is, I want, oh, I don't know, because this isn't a candy dish, I don't think. Um, look how old that is. You guys see that? Um, and that's the, come on, focus, there we go, focusing. This is silver plated. That's a beautiful dish though. I bet it's for cigarettes maybe. Um, could be wrong, but pretty crazy. I've never seen anything like this before and it's silver plated and it's in really good condition guys. I would say this is probably five inches by probably five inches or so. Wow. Man, all kinds of stuff in here we're trying to get to. All right. Look at this! Let's show both of them real quick. Maybe they're similar. These things are massive. You can tell. Look how big they are. So they're big, big plates. They probably like had like snacks and stuff on here, right? I mean, look how big this thing is. You can see. It's got indents. It's kind of heavy too. Here's the other one. This is kind of like a, a snack probably, cause see how you can kind of put stuff in here and then it stops. And then you put like dip or something in the middle. But these are nice pieces. Wow, look at those things. Kind of give you an idea. And they're big. So, two of those. Makes me wonder, because there's some more stuff in here. Um, this must be the party. Oh, we know what this is. We know what this is. One of my favorite foods of all time, deviled eggs. This is an egg, deviled egg uh, thing. Because you put deviled eggs right here. Deviled egg tray, look at this. Wow, and you can see the craftsmanship back then. Um, look at the little bubbles thing right here, and it just looks amazing. That's yeah, pretty big. So this is for your deviled eggs, guys. Let me know in the comments if you guys like deviled eggs as much as I do. Ashley needs to make more deviled eggs for me, though. Oh, what the heck? Oh. Look at this. This is a really cool tray. And it says hand decorated. Something fair or wear. Made in California. Oh man, I can't even hardly see it. Huh? Yeah, it's bamboo. Um, but it's a pretty big one, guys. I mean, it takes up my whole arm. Um, beautiful, right? It doesn't look like there's any chips or anything like that, which is great. And then here's another one. Oh! People are going to be on me. Is it Pyrex? <laughs> Plex. Huh? Plex. Is it Plex? <laughs> wow, this is old, too, because it says... 372P Plex. <laughs> I'm just joking, guys. DC. So look at this thing. Um, it's crazy. So let me let me show you. You guys see that? Oh, no, that doesn't work. Beautiful, right? Somebody's gonna love this thing. And it's they're highly collectible. And I, I learned uh, a few months back that the, all the capital letters are the vintage ones. So whenever you see big capital letters in this, it means they're vintage. The lowercase ones mean they're, they're newer. But this thing is big, guys. Look at that. Yeah, 372P. And then D slash C is that one. Okay, this is heavy. This is heavy.
Wow, these are dirty. But... Look at this, guys. Dinner time. I'm joking. Anyway, um, so oh, do I have to sneeze? No, I don't have to sneeze. So that's the brand, guys. Wait, is this? Oh my God, Ashley, this is Cutco. Number one, one four four. Cutco is like way expensive. The knives. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, Cutco knives are super expensive. This is, I didn't know they did. Uh, let me show them real quick. Uh, so, basically guys, wow, that is awesome. So basically this stuff is really expensive. Um, this is Cutco, this came in the unit. This is one of the videos I've already done already. But this stuff is super expensive, and I've got the sharpener, vintage sharpener, too. But, uh, wow! I had no idea that they made, look at this, guys. So this is little platters um, to put food on, little TV tray platters. But I can't believe this is Cutco. This may be really expensive. Um, I don't know. I'll have to check. This may go for a lot of money. We'll see. Anyways, guys, tell me what you think of this. Cutco, um, and they look in great condition. Obviously, they're dirty, but look at this thing. Isn't that crazy? Wow. All right, let's do that box right there, and then we'll call it a video. And we're back. Unfortunately, there's been very little things that broke, but this was broke. I already can tell by squishing it. So let's get into this box right here and see what we have. See what we have. Honestly, there's been only like two things that are chipped and like one or two things that broke out of all of this. And I'm surprised too, because they really didn't do a great job packing it. Um, so, hey. Wow. Look at this, this is etched glass, I believe. You guys are gonna have to tell me. There's no, that's weird, it's a little bump there. A little bump there. Uh, but I believe this is etched glass. Um, but yeah, let's see if there, look at that little design on there. Pretty cool. I think there's a bunch of them in here. Let's see. Oh, Mar is this a martini one? Party time, guys. Party time. Look at this. So this one's big. And this one, ooh. So. Let's see if we have a set. Ooh. Yep. Seven. Eight. We have another one of these, so we have two of those. Oh man, I think with the other one's the broken one of these. Yep. There we go. Here we go. 
There it is. So we have eight of these and only three of these. The one over there that's broken is one of these, unfortunately. But Video number nine? I don't know yet. Um, anyways, who's counting at this point? It's going to be video number 50. But if I were to... No, I, I th think we have got about five more videos of unboxing and then we're done. This is crazy. Please, thank you so much. Vicky, other people, you guys are amazing. I read all my comments. Um, sometimes I get a lot of comments, so I can't read them all. I mean, I, I read them all, but I can't respond to all of them. So, in fact, I read them. Ashley reads them. Mom reads them. Um, and guys, think about this too. You're not just helping me. Um, you're helping other people in the community as well who uh, who kind of want to like watch the video and then learn in the comments from you guys that you know, know a lot about this stuff. So thank you so much for all the comments. Hit the subscribe button, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon when you know I'm going live. Until next time, you'll have one more video out today and then we'll call it good. All right guys, talk to you soon, see ya.